Ladies and gentlemen, now I would uh, I have this opportunity to invite to the podium Mr. Atik Rahman, the director uh, from Vikash, Bangladesh. Mr. Chairman, honorable chief guest, friends, ladies and gentlemen, once again it's a pleasure to be here and addressing this concluding session. As Salim has said, we have achieved quite a lot in this conference. Over 90 papers, 40 presentations, films, posters, and the declaration coming out of it, the Kathmandu Declaration. Communities across the world are trying their best under very difficult circumstances. Climate change is here and now, and the Intergovernment Panel of Climate Change report of the fourth assessment and fifth assessment tell us that things are going to get worse. For things to get better, there must be much larger need for mitigation as well as adaptation. If we do not mitigate rapidly, particularly led by the industrialist countries that committed under the convention, there will be much bigger need for adaptation and the cost of adaptation will shoot up so much that will really create greater poverty, greater distress for the poorest in this world. That in itself does need a lot of attention. By 2015 in Paris, we should have a agreed strong declaration for rapid climate action much higher as required by the science, much, much higher commitment for mitigation. But at the same time, adaptation needs are sorely. People and communities are suffering, they are being displaced and in many places their food security, water security, energy security and livelihood security is being threatened. So it is not a story of changes of lifestyle. It's lifestyle for some and livelihood of others. We must not be put into that choice. Those who are responsible must reduce their emission and reduce them fast. And Paris is the place to make that commitment very, very important. If we cannot do it, then our problems are far bigger. There is already displacement across the world, moving on to what is called climate migration. The numbers quoted are in tens of millions to hundreds of millions people will be displaced. Where will they go? There is one theory which says they will, they will have to be accommodated by the countries which have emitted greenhouse gas the most in a proportionate way. That is not a present future that we are looking towards, but that would be a reality and climate has thus become the greatest or one of the greatest issues of justice. Climate justice has to be addressed in the near future in the, and poverty must be reduced, climate change impacts and luxury of others cannot be allowed to increase the poverty of many. Climate displaced population is being taken, the issue is being taken very seriously by the security community across the world, particularly in rich countries. There is no mechanism that has evolved in the defense and security world which can stop large populations moving. Most of the ammunition that they have created is for killing people, but not for maintaining in the certain spaces. This is the, going to be the challenge of the future if we do not take climate change very seriously. For the poor in the communities, it is not a choice. They are forced to take it seriously for their sheer survival. And right now, in most cases, they are doing it with their own labor, own money, own efforts. This we have already
been initiated through the CBA type process and other funding sources, some initial very limited funding in this area. This has to increase significantly. So 50% of all climate investment costs and expenditure must go to adaptation. And out of that 50%, 50% of that must be for the communities, particularly poor and depressed. That's the key message from the government declaration and we commit ourselves to that. We're going to look forward to working together with all the countries and the leaders and their respective communities and it is absolutely urgent that we mitigate rapidly at the same time we invest in adaptation otherwise we are entering a world of much greater insecurity. So we want a world with greater climate service, greater security and better climate justice. We all look forward to that. Thank you.